Nitin and Chure. In this PSLE 2020 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 16. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there. Okay, so let's jump straight into question 16. Okay, this is question 16 and this question is testing us on area and perimeter. Let's read the question for part A first. In figure 1, okay, this is figure 1. PQRS is a rectangular piece of paper. So this is PQRS. After six identical triangles are cut out from the paper, the remaining paper is shown in figure 2 here. And these are the six identical triangles, okay? They're cut out. So they are, the area of the remaining paper is 200 and 279 cm square. So this is the remaining area, right? 279 cm square. Part A. What is the area of each triangle that was cut out? Okay. So, let's highlight the key information first. So, PQRS is a rectangular piece of paper. After six identical triangles are cut out from the paper, remaining paper is shown in figure 2. Area of the remaining paper is 279 cm square. What is area of each triangle that was cut out? Okay, so in order to solve this question, we need to take area of figure, figure 1 minus figure 2, which will give us 6 triangles. Okay, and these 6 triangles, basically we can divide by 6. It's equal to is equal to 1 sorry let me write that again it's equal to 1 of the triangles 1 triangle so this is how we find the answer so basically let's find the area of the figure 1 15 times 25 which is 25 times 15 which is 375 cm square after this we minus off figure 2 which is 279 cm square so 375 minus 279 will give us 96 cm square. And I told you, this is 6 triangles, right? So divide by 6 is equal to 1 triangle. So 96 cm square divided by 6, it will give us 16 cm square. And this is the answer for part A, okay? So I hope you understand this. Now moving on to part B. Let's just read the question. The perimeter of figure 2 is 54 cm longer than the perimeter of figure 1. What is the perimeter of each triangle? Okay, let's highlight the key information. Perimeter of figure 2 is 54 cm longer than perimeter of figure 1. What is perimeter of each triangle? Okay, each triangle's perimeter is basically this. Right? And we actually can find one of the lines, which is this line, by taking 15 cm divided by 3, which will give us 5 cm. So it's actually 5 cm over here, okay? 5 cm, 5 cm, and 5 cm again, okay? So let me erase the lines now. I think you understand already. So over here is also 5 cm, 5 cm, and 5 cm, okay? So this is basically what it says, okay? So, in order to find the parameter of each triangle, we have to find this line, right? Let me show you in blue color, okay? So, we need to find the parameter of, we need to know the length of this line, right? But, we cannot find it individually. And, we also need to know this line in green. See this line over here? We also need to know this line. But we do not know either of them. So, basically, what we should do first is minus of the lens. Okay? Minus of the lens. Okay? So that we only have the triangles in a, as the parameter of the figure. Okay? So, instead of finding each line, right, I'm going to take these two and group it together. So, I'm going to take blue. Sorry. Uh, wrong color. So I'm going to take blue plus, wait, sorry, supposed to be uh, blue 
and then I'm going to add green okay so basically I'm going to make them into one color so let me just draw in red color okay now so each triangle the perimeter is red color now over here these two lines so in order to do that I'm going to take the perimeter of figure 1 minus the perimeter of figure 2 okay not, not the perimeter of figure 2 just the these outer lines so perimeter of figure 1 is basically 25 plus 15 times 2 which is 80 cm right and we know that the perimeter of figure 2 is 54 cm longer right than perimeter of figure 1 so I'm going to take 80 cm plus 54 cm because this is longer which is 134 cm after that I'm going to minus off the lens so it will give me 84 cm so 134 minus 25 minus 25 it will give me 84 cm and I'm going to group these together right so basically 84 cm divided by 6 because there's still 6 triangles and that and each of the two lengths are actually combined together into one so it's equal to 14 cm so in order to find the perimeter we just need to take 14 cm plus 5 cm which will give us 19 cm as the answer for part b right so i hope you understood my explanation for this question uh question 16 area and perimeter okay and thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.